Hello Aquarius. Welcome back to my channel to all of you who have been here before. And for those of you who it's your first time, hello, welcome. I am Denise, this is Surrender to the Flow of Tarot. And today I'm going to be doing a monthly general reading for the collective of Aquarius. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising Venus, any of the 11 placements are good. The top four are just the most dominant ones. Um, where it's the strongest. It's a general reading, so it's probably not going to resonate with everybody who watches this. Take what does and leave what doesn't. Be careful not to like fit yourself into a narrative. You don't want to relate. You want to resonate with it. And there's a difference. I have changed up the format of my channel. I used to do weekly readings, um, over four days grouped by elements, air, water, fire, earth. And now I am doing a reading on the first for all 12 zodiac signs, starting at Aries, going all the way through to Pisces in the order. Um, so it's going to be a monthly reading. And then on the 15th of every month, I'll do a mid month check in again, starting with Aries, ending with Pisces. So between the first and the seventh, all of this zodiac signs should be up in between the 15th and the 21st. Um, I'm also doing morning pool readings. I do those for myself and, and evening ones just about every day. And so I started recording and posting them and they are in a playlist called morning pool. It doesn't matter if you watch them on the day I started titling them. So you could just go through the playlist and scroll and anything that jumps out at you, watch it or don't. Okay, so today we're doing, oh, you're going to see me drinking a lot of water, hopefully, if I'm on point, to keep these vocal cords moist. Okay, we're doing a where are you, where does the universe want you to be, and what can you do to get there reading. We're going to use tarot for that, and we're going to use the tarot of curious creatures. Before that, I'm gonna pull three oracle cards. Um, one for your chakra, what chakra to be aware of and work on for the month. One archetype card for you to be aware of and a romance angels card for matters of the heart and relationships. It doesn't have to be romantic. These are romance angel cards, but they don't need to be romantic, you feel me? Okay. So here we go. We're going to start with the chakra card for the month of January. This one came out in the morning poll from today if you want to check it out. Chakra balance, all of your chakras, all of them. Embrace the balance between earth and spirit. Oh, maybe it was harmony that came out, but it was an all chakra balance. Clear quartz, rose quartz, hematite. So you can find on YouTube um, free meditations just do sh all chakra all chakra balancing all chakra clearing you know and then you could work on each one individually too okay let's see your archetype This one is on the bottom and I feel like I'm supposed to read it. Calmness, crown, crown chakra, rainbow moonstone, to calm your monkey mind, do not feed the animal. That one definitely came out the other day. I called the reading monkey mind. So if you want to watch it, it's in the playlist for morning pools, morning pools. Okay. Oh. Fool on 
on the split. Slave on the bottom. And knight. We'll read those. Well, will we read them now? We'll read them in a moment. Uh, we'll, in a moment. Oh my God. We'll read them now. Jeez, sorry. <laughs> the light, so there's a light and shadow attribute to all of the archetype cards. The light attribute is surrendering your power of choice to the divine with complete trust. That's very much being the fool, which came out as an archetype, but is also a um, tarot card, right? Shadow is giving your willpower to an external authority out of fear of making your own choices. Okay, and what you got was night. The light attributes are loyalty, romance, and chivalry, a love of honor. Oh, that's so you guys, Aquarians. And the shadow attributes are allegiance to a destructive ruler or principle, romantic delusions. So that could be just giving your thoughts over to destructive thinking, you know what I mean? Self-sabotaging, poor me, martyr, and all that, all those kind of things, defeatist. It could, it could go a lot of different ways. You'll know what way it comes up for you. But when any of these pop up, the shadow attributes or the light during this next month, these are like, so you can be like, oh, 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 I'm doing that. So you feel me? All right, let's look at your romance angels. Angels. Angels of romance. Really, just matters of the heart in whatever way that manifests. Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So you focus, you're focusing there? Are you focusing too much on that? It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. All right, Aquarius, let's bust your tarot. Let's see where you are right now, okay? And where the universe wants you to be and what you can do to get there. Look at the sky. You can watch it behind me or beside me. <clears throat> I have one more reading today, Pisces. And I switched up the order of her. Usually I do them. I wake up very, very early. I do my stuff at home for my cats and stuff. Take my medications, blah, blah. Do a morning pool reading. Usually do my home workout. Then go do my outside workout. Then come back and eat and then start my readings. But today I did you guys after the morning pool because I just, I felt it. So. Normally I would be like walking back from my morning. I'd be out there seeing the sun, like seeing the sky like that. Okay. Where is Aquarius? Just thinking of my calendar and my schedule, maybe that's relevant for you guys. Are you like keeping yourselves busy, distracted, or are you too busy? Is there an imbalance? All right, let's see where, where you are right now. The lovers and temperance came out. The five of swords on the split and the fool on the bottom. Yes, the universe definitely wants you to take that leap of faith, to give up control and surrender control, to not know, to be okay with not knowing how everything is going to work out or what it's going to look like. Right? Stop deceiving yourself 
Interesting, the lovers and temperance. I'll, I'll show you, the five of swords on the split, the fool on the bottom. Lovers and temperance. So, out of four cards, you have three major arcana. Not a surprise. Okay. Let's see where the universe wants you to be. Hmm. Oh, another one. Oh, goodness. Aquarians. One more. One more. Okay. One more. It's not my ball. I knew it. Okay. The devil is on the split. Temptation. Things that are keeping you away from your highest vibrational good. The page of swords is on the bottom. Trust. Page of Swords is two things. It's about trusting and it's about a, like a recognizance mission. Is that the right word? It, I don't know if that's the right word. When you're gathering it, information, it's an info. I don't know what that's called. Tell me in the comments. When you're gathering intel because you don't trust a situation, you know what I mean? Or you're not sure if you can trust it. That's on the bottom of where the universe wants you to be. So clearly what does the universe want you to do? Chill on the control, right? What came up was the Nine of Wands, the Eight of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles, and then sideways going into the reverse is the Two of Swords. Okay. So the Nine of Wands and the Eight of Swords are states of being or states of mind, right? And the Knight of Pentacles and the Two of Swords, they're all states of being. The Knight of Pentacles is you, that's you. And where the universe wants you to be is in a place where you feel fully grounded and you don't feel rushed and you don't feel pressured and you don't feel like a slave. And literally, what was your archetype? the knight and you've got the knight of pentacles <clears throat> you're an air sign so earth can be depending on what else is in your chart earth earth can can be an uncomfortable feeling for something that it likes to move around a lot you know um you're you're you are your so two things are working against you really right now being patient with divine timing and you, you are your own worst enemy. There have been a lot of things that have been unfair and obstacles to come to get over in your life and you've done it. And you are almost at the end and the nine of wands is when you're so fucking frustrated and you're like, oh my God, I can't fucking take this anymore. I just wanna fucking give it up. I just wanna give up. And this is saying don't. It could also be being like, I have had enough of this bullshit and I am leaving. I'm following my heart's direction and I'm going. It can also be that. I feel that for you guys. The Eight of Swords is it's self-imposed. It's um, when the stress that has been happening is now turning into anxiety. It's not just distress. It's not like, ooh, it's like anxiety, you know. And the universe wants you to be in a place where you're recognizing your power in all of your states of mind. You feel me? The two of swords is finding um, alignment. It's integration between your spirit self and your 3D human self. Figuring out how to make them come together. That's where the universe wants you to be. All right. So let's see what you can do to get there. We're gonna clarify the lovers for sure. And I guess I didn't explain what that one is of where you are right now. I think you're longing for love. I think you're like getting yourself ready. You either just met someone or it's the idea of it. It's, 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 you're considering it. 
And I think that there's longing because it came up with temperance, which is a, a, a hey from the universe. Hold up, homies. We'll be getting there when we're meant to. I don't know how it says it, but you feel me? It's like, yo, it's telling you like divine timing is at work. Go within and find your strength here and keep moving on the path you're moving. So that's, we'll, we'll clarify to see exactly what that lovers is. Um, but let's pull for where, how you can get to where the universe wants you to be, yeah? Five of Cups came out sideways going into the upright, and these two flipped but didn't come out. The Three of Cups in reverse, which is um, like a reconciliation or a coming together. It, it can mean sisterhood. It's like, a, it's like soul family, coming together with soul families and, and celebrating in some way, like doing something together. And the Three of Wands. So the Three of Wands and the Three of Cups so you're really at a crossroads right now. You are really there. You're at a transitional point. Or the universe wants you to be there, actually. it want, That's where it wants you to go. If you've been alone, it's time for you to um, not be alone. Like to open yourself up and let, and find your soul tr tribe or, or call in your soul tribe to take the steps to get yourself out of your comfort zone and start making the next actual steps in, for your life plan. Yeah, okay. The Six of Swords is on the split, which is literally removing yourself from a stressful situation that you have not been able to fully, um, you have to remove yourself at this point and to go, go you're seeking balance peace the nine of swords is on the bottom that is so you got the eight right and the nine so the universe um the nine of swords is crippling anxiety the five of cups is my card of self-medication it's when you're still carrying all these heart hurts and you're you're carrying them and they're infiltrating everything, your, your choices, and you're feeling powerless to them. There's like a despair feeling and a powerless feeling. And the universe is telling you that this is you doing this to yourself at this point, okay? You are hurting yourself. You're at like a crossroads. It's good, that's a good thing. It's a good, it's not a bad thing. All right, let's use clarifier. Actually, I'm gonna pull one more for how to get where the universe wants you to be. The Eight of Pentacles, which is the Master Alchemist card. What came out is the King of Pentacles. Yes, it's time to, I love that. You are a generous, generous soul, Aquarius. It is time to move into that move into this energy. This dude says it all, male or female, gender or non-binary, gender doesn't matter. It's this energy of being rooted. You've, you're, you have put in the work, you are, you're doing work that is fulfilling. Your life is the way you've always dreamed it to be and you've worked, done all the work to get there and you're, you have a partner who is your equal, you guys are teammates, you have abundance, your legacy is set, you are generous and open and, and fair, you feel me? That's what the universe wants you, that's who you are at your nature and the universe wants you to embody that. And those voices that are in your head of yourself that are telling you you're not enough or you can't do this, time to throw them out. Throw them out. Let's, I'm going to pull a clarifier for the lovers just because I want to see what it is. And we're going to use the um, Nicoletta Ciccoli. I don't know. I'm a bad, a bad Italian that I cannot 
um, pronounce that. <laughs> How long we got? 20 minutes. All right. That's not too, that's all right, right? The lovers. Can you tell us more about the lovers? Understand what that means. The six of swords. This is about you have removed yourself. Let me pull. Well, let me look on it. Yes. The Ace of Cups and the world. Okay. This cycle that you've been in alone where you've given up on love, it's it's over. <laughs> it's over. It's, it's over. The universe is going to send you some sending you something in, so you, you need to get ready for it. And you want it. It's it's the, it's a part of your heart's desire. Aquarians. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. You're going to become a master alchemist of yourself. Of you're going to your life's going to go in a different direction. It's time to deal with all that stuff that you haven't dealt with. It's keeping you in the five of cups that you're letting it keep you in the five of cups because you're keeping you in there at this point. You know how you feel. You know what I mean? Okay. We're going to pull a last we're going to pull a lantern oracle. trying to be mindful to drink every 20 minutes, but it doesn't really, not too successful at that. I might do the Pisces reading too right now and just knock them all out. I think I might. Okay. The Lantern Oracle, which is so dope. And it, it deals with feminine aspects and whether you're, whatever gender you identify with, this is definitely about you um, opening up your feminine aspects and also integrating that into your um, masculine, that perfect alchemy of this homie. split these. Oh boy, that sounded like a lot. Just two. It's funny. This these women supporting women came up in the Libra reading, and I got intention for myself the other day. Women supporting women. The Three of Cups, right? Finding your um, tribe. Intention. Okay. Let's do it. <clears throat> Number 22, which is four, which is harmony. And number 31, which is four, which is finding harmony, right? It's healing. Go right away, your Silverado. I'll see you around again. Know my place. Casey Musgraves. Okay. Um, it's called Space Cowboy. If you want, if anybody wants to look it up, it's a pretty song. She's such a pretty voice. Together we can transcend our individual limitations. Bom, 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 bom. Women who share their weaknesses, struggles, and shame, as well as their joy, victories, and opportunities, support each other's life journey. So it's about finding your soul tribe, people that you can be yourself and open up with. And that could be like a therapist is part of your tribe. You know what I mean? Whatever are the team, setting up your teammate, your support team. 
Together, women have the potential to strengthen each other in overcoming challenges and to rise much higher than is individually possible. By sharing one another's lives, we come to know ourselves. We experience what it is to see and be seen, to speak and be heard, to understand and to be understood, and this evolves us. When people connected to their divine inner feminine bear witness, nurture, and support one another, mutual love and raised frequency occurs. The divine feminine consciousness connects and supports us in realizing our fullest potential power and wisdom. In each other, we see what is possible when we do not go at life alone in silence or against each other. When we realize that we are not alone or judged in our greatest vulnerability, hurts, and confusion, we heal. Women who have walked parallel paths know how to create this regenerative space. Life changes the second we are gifted with an experience of these being nothing, of there being nothing to be ashamed of, but only pain to be released, witnessed, healed, and moved on from. Women supporting women potentially offers this life-changing moment when they hold loving space and support in response to an individual unburdening herself of a shame-filled secret. Therefore, the potential loving safety generated by women supporting women nurtures and nourishes our spirits as well as enriches our lives. It may be time to reach out to the safe women in your life. It could also be time to explore your local community to discover where individuals connected to their divine feminine gather or perhaps even organize your own circle at a park, cafe, or home through creating a meetup group or making a poster for your local community center or library notice board. In empowering one another, we empower ourselves. If you are masculine or you identify as masculine, there maybe there's some like men's circles. There's so many men who are tra who are dealing with childhood trauma where they weren't allowed to be expressive and be vulnerable, and there are men who who actively come together um, and be a safe space for each other. Maybe that's something for you to look into. Okay, intention badass she's a badass <clears throat> go on right away lacking personal direction begets confusion and life as a pawn to someone else's game of chest 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 all right aquarians Betrayal, heartbreak, and bewilderment follow the choices we allow others to make for us or that we make for ourselves without clarity, deliberation, and conscious intention toward what we most value. When we prioritize what is of greatest meaning and significance to us with conviction and integrity, we successfully cultivate an internal state of abundant positivity, worthiness, and standards that our external lives eventually mirror back to us. This card signifies a time to clarify your priorities that uncover your core values. Any choices clashing with these priorities, whether conscious or not, are where you give away your power. There are instances where someone or something else is in control, unless you can reframe it to work according to the beautiful vision you have for your life. The featured guardian supports you and getting out of the situation or dynamic and reclaiming your power and autonomy. To know and own your value, your values, your plans, and your non-negotiables is essential. It honors the pure so source in both yourself and others to consistently act with transparency regarding your objectives. People do not value transparency. Examine the main aspects of your life or what you wish were part of the main aspects of your life. Perhaps it is helpful to visualize your life as a pizza and each slice is an aspect of it. Name each aspect, such as intimate relationships, career, spirituality, study, family, friends, health, home, passions, leisure, travel. Write down your long-term vision for each aspect. If there is no long-term vision, simply make notes on what constitutes that slice of your life at present or would constitute it if it were present. Note whether you are functioning from a place of fear or love, passivity or confidence, confusion or purpose, lack or abundance for each one. A helpful question for illuminating this is, what is my motivation and reason for doing or not doing 
fill in the blank in this way. Highlight the aspects coming from a place of love. Cross out what is misaligned with your intention. Put a square shape around what does not light you up. Draw a heart shape around what makes you afraid. Write about what is significant and worth further inquiry about your results. When you are ready, you are encouraged to pay attention to the heart shapes around your fears. That is where your focus on packing an appropriate course of action hold the key to transforming your life. An additional exercise for further clarification is to consider the following concept. We create the external life that we are internally living. Journal the implications this has for you currently and could have for you if things were to significantly change from within. To live with intention is to live deliberately. Being the master of yourself yields great power, purpose, and responsibility. Self-sovereignty is your divine right and not to be given away or compromised. All right, Aquarius. I hope that this helped. Thank you for coming and sharing your energy with me. And I will see you in about two weeks at your mid-month mid check-in. See you travels till then. Bye.